Welcome to Module 17, AWS Pricing Models. In this module, we will cover the following subjects. EC2 purchasing options, such as on-demand instances, reserved instances, spot instances, savings plans, dedicated hosts, dedicated instances, and capacity reservations. Incoming data transfer costs and outgoing data transfer costs. Different pricing options for various storage options and tiers. Let's get started. AWS provides several EC2 purchase options so you can maximize savings with Amazon EC2 based on your specific needs. Whether you're looking for flexibility or long-term commitments, EC2's got you covered. Let's break it down. First up, we have on-demand instances. This is like the pay-as-you-go option where you pay by the second or hour for the instances you launch. No long-term commitments here. Ideal for applications with short-term workloads or those that can't tolerate any disruptions. Now, let's talk about saving plans. Save up to 72% compared to on-demand prices by committing to a spend for one or three years. Your usage up to the commitment is billed at a reduced rate, while exceeding usage is at standard on-demand rates. Perfect for committed and steady-state usage. Moving on to reserved instances. Save up to 72% compared to on-demand prices by committing to a spend for one or three years with specific instance attributes. Great for committed and steady-state usage with long-term needs. Here come spot instances, the cheapest pricing model. Save up to 90% compared to on-demand prices by requesting unused EC2 instances. Ideal for flexible applications, those that can withstand disruptions, or have flexible start and end times. Now, Let's talk about dedicated hosts. Pay for a physical host dedicated to running your instances. It's the most expensive option but allows you to bring your existing licenses and offload host maintenance to AWS. Perfect for workloads that need dedicated physical servers. Dedicated instances are next. Pay by the hour for instances running on single tenant hardware. Great for users looking to run per CPU, per instance, or per user bile software. Lastly, we have capacity reservation. Reserve capacity for your EC2 instance in a specific availability zone for any duration. Ideal for disaster recovery, meeting regulatory requirements, and specific events. Let's take a deep look at saving plans. You can save up to 72% with this flexible pricing model compared to on-demand prices. Saving plans require a commitment for either one or three years of hourly spend, and there are different types of saving plans to choose from, Compute Savings Plans, EC2 Instant Savings Plans, and Amazon SageMaker Savings Plans. AWS offers three types of savings plans. Compute Savings Plans, these provide the most flexibility, offering savings up to 66% off on-demand rates. They apply to EC2 instance usage regardless of instance family size, region, operating systems, or tenancy. It's like having the freedom to shift workloads, change instance types, or migrate applications at any time. EC2 Instance Savings Plans, these offer savings up to 72% off on-demand rates. You commit to a specific instance family in a chosen AWS region. The flexibility here allows you to change instance sizes, operating systems, or tenancy within the chosen family. SageMaker Savings Plans, these provide savings up to 64% off on-demand rates, regardless of instance family, size or component, like notebook, training, etc. Now, let's talk payment options. All upfront, you make a full payment at the start of the term. Partial upfront, you pay a portion of the cost upfront. No upfront, you bill the discounted hourly rate. How do you compute saving plans compare to reserved instances? Compute Savings Plans, flexible pricing model offering low prices, similar to reserved instances but with added flexibility. You commit to a consistent amount of compute usage, giving you the flexibility to use the compute option that best suits your needs without the hassle of exchanges or modifications. Amazon EC2 reserved instances or re provide a significant discount, up to 72%, Compare to on-demand pricing and provide a capacity reservation when used in a specific availability zone. A reserved instance has four instance attributes that determine its price. Instance type. 
This includes the instance family, like M4, and instance size, like large. Region. The geographical location where the reserved instance is purchased. Tenancy. Whether your instance runs on shared, default, or single tenant, dedicated, hardware. Platform. The operating system, for example, Windows or Linux slash Unix. If your computing needs change, you might be able to modify or exchange your reserved instance, depending on the offering class. Standard reserved instance provides the most significant discount but can only be modified. No exchanges here. Convertible reserved instance offers a lower discount but brings flexibility. You can exchange it for another convertible reserved instance with different attributes, and they can also be modified. The following payment options are available for reserved instances. All upfront. Full payment at the start of the term. Partial upfront. Pay a portion of the cost upfront. No upfront. Build the discounted hourly rate. How do reserved instances stack up against saving plans? Cancellation. You can't cancel your reserved instance purchase, but you can modify, exchange, or sell it if your needs change. Marketplace. Explore reserved instance offerings by third-party sellers for potentially lower prices and shorter term lengths on the reserved instance marketplace. Transition to saving plans. While you can continue purchasing reserved instances, consider transitioning to saving plans for the same savings with additional flexibility as reserved instances expire. Data transfer charges are often overlooked while architecting a solution in AWS. Considering data transfer charges while making architectural decisions can help save costs. The diagram shows various data transfer scenarios such as data transfer within availability zone, data transfer within region, and data transfer out from region. There is no charge for data sent to or from private IP address within availability zone. However, data sent to or from public IP and also data sent to or from private and public IP within availability zone is charged. Data sent to or from private IP address within region is charged. Data sent to or from private and public IP address within region is also charged. There is no charge for data sent to or from application load balancer. There is also no charge for data sent to or from S3, S3 Glacier, DynamoDB, SES, SQS, Kinesis, ECS, SNS and SimpleDB. Data sent to or from EC2 in different region is charged. Data sent from EC2 to CloudFront is free. However, you will be charged for data sent from CloudFront to EC2. Data sent to or from private link in a region is free, but AWS private link usage charges apply. There is no charge for data sent from corporate data center to AWS via direct connect. However, data sent from AWS to corporate data center via direct connect will be charged. Data transfer from Internet to AWS is free. But, data transfer from AWS to Internet is charged. Data transfer from CloudFront to Internet is also charged. AWS offers a range of storage services, including Amazon Simple Storage Service or S3, Amazon Elastic File System or EFS and Amazon Elastic Block Store or EBS. Let's explore their different pricing options. We'll be uncovering the different pricing options for various S3 storage classes and tiers. So, how does the pricing work for Amazon S3? Well, you pay for storing objects in your S3 buckets, and the charges depend on factors like object size, duration of storage, and the chosen storage class. Let's explore the different storage classes. First up, we have S3 Intelligent Tiering. This option provides automatic cost savings by auto-tiering data with unknown or changing access patterns. Keep in mind that there's an additional charge for monitoring and automation. Retrieval time is automatic, making it a smart choice for dynamic storage needs. Next in line is S3 Standard, designed for frequently accessed data with retrieval times measured in milliseconds. It's your go-to choice for quick and efficient access to frequently used objects. Moving on to S3 Standard Infrequent Access. This option is perfect for infrequently accessed data, 
perhaps on a monthly basis, with retrieval times measured in milliseconds. Now, let's talk about S3 Glacier Instant Retrieval. Ideal for long-lived archive data access once a quarter, with retrieval fees per gigabyte and retrieval times measured in milliseconds. Looking at S3 Glacier Flexible Retrieval, it suits long-term backup and archives with retrieval fees per gigabyte and retrieval times ranging from 1 minute to 12 hours. For those long-term data archiving needs accessed once or twice per year, there's S3 Glacier Deep Archive. Retrieval fees apply per gigabyte and retrieval times range from 12 to 48 hours. Last but not least, we have S3 One Zone Infrequent Access. This option is cost-effective for infrequently accessed data, with retrieval fees per gigabyte and retrieval times measured in hours. Amazon Elastic File System or EFS offers various pricing tiers to suit your storage needs. Best part? No minimum fee or setup charge. So, how does the pricing work for Amazon EFS? You pay only for the storage you use, for read and write access to data stored in infrequent access storage classes, and for any provision throughput. Now, let's check out the different classes and their offerings. First up, we have the EFS Standard Class. Designed for active, frequently accessed data. Single-digit millisecond access time. Available across three availability zones. EFS Standard and Frequent Access. Ideal for less access data. Double-digit millisecond access time. Also available across three availability zones. Moving on to the EFS One Zone class. Tailored for active, frequently accessed data. Single-digit millisecond access time. Available in a single availability zone. EFS One Zone and Frequent Access. Suited for less access data. Double-digit millisecond access time. Also available in a single availability zone. Amazon EBS offers different pricing options and tiers available for your storage needs. The cool thing about EBS is that you only pay for what you provision, making it a cost-effective solution. Let's jump into the details. First up, we have GP3 General Purpose SSD. It's the EBS SSD back volume options. Ideal for boot volumes, low latency applications, and bursty databases. Next, the IO2 Block Express. It's also EBS SSD back volume options. It has the highest price among the EBS storage and ideal for critical applications and databases with sustained IOPS. Now, let's look at EBS HDD back volume options. SD1 Throughput Optimized HDD. Ideal for large block, high throughput sequential workloads. SC1 Cold HDD. It has the lowest price among EBS storage and ideal for sequential throughput workloads, such as logging and backup. Congratulations! You have completed Module 17, AWS Pricing Models.